Just a couple days ago, I'm driving out to check the cows with Michelle, and I look up, and there's a bobcat. I grab my lever action Rossi 357. I go running through the trees to cut this bobcat off. We slip through the trees, and I start lip squeaking. And the bobcat rises up next to an old dead tree. And I'm like, there it is. So I range it with my loop bolts, and it's 141 yards. I think it was 141 or 140. And I'm like, oh, a little bit of a long shot for the lever action 357. But I think I can do it. My dad could have. So I take aim, crank off around, and we'll have to look at the video. I missed. I'm not sure where. I don't think I held high enough. I might even drifted a little bit to the right or something, but I did not shoot the bobcat. I cranked off another round or two as it took off running and did not touch it. Dang it! Came out here to check on cows. Only gun I had in my truck. Rossi lever, open sight. Sight covered him up, he was 140 yards. I usually have my Rock River for a longer shot, but I was just toting the 357 lever in case a coyote was in with the cows or something. Kissed him up a little bit, but it totally covered him. And then of course I had to try a couple quick John Wayne shots, but didn't quite work out for me. Sorry. Pretty cool though. However, that made me go, I need to get on this bobcat. So I go back into that same area the next day and see another bobcat. So the bobcats were driving me crazy. So I decided finally to get serious on the bobcats. I decided to go out with the thermal, take my Western Rivers call, and see if I could call one in. Well, I get out there, and as soon as I get out there, I scan across with the thermal viewer, boom, big bobcat sitting in the field. Well, now I'm excited. I got my Rock River, I don't have open sights, and I know I can work this thing over. I hit the record button on my thermal scope and I actually recorded shooting this bobcat. It was a little over 200 yards and it dropped when that Hornady VMAX hit it. Got it. Got him. Just got the bobcat. That's got to be the same one that I freaking missed the other night. I was scanning with the viewer and boom, he's sitting out in the middle of the field and he's looking at me and then he'd look away. Look at me, look away. Wouldn't close all the way up to the call. Now, you, you might be able to tell we got almost a full moon. That bobcat could probably see us sitting back over here. You know, came into the field, tracked to the call, but then kind of locked up a little bit, started acting a little squirrely on me. So I'm like, mm, it's time to make this shot happen. So one shot, boom, I think I recorded it through the Thor. So we'll go ahead and check that out. Let me shut off the, uh, let me pick up my call and we'll walk down there and grab this beautiful, looks like a big, beautiful bobcat. <laughs> That's, That's a, a big, big bobcat. Cat. Look at the size of that joker. Big, big tom, real pretty fur. That is awesome. This big cat in the video, you'll see, he, uh, he just wouldn't close the distance. He got out there a ways and stopped and would not, would not close. So I'm like, that's it. I'm gonna try and video him in the Thor. Got it on him. But look at that, look at the head on that guy. Look at those huge teeth. That is about as big as Colorado Bobcat gets. That is awesome. <sighs> Pretty neat, huge big Tom Bobcat, and it's gonna make a neat addition to the fur shed. It's also gonna make some great table fare. Bobcats are actually pretty dang good to eat if you prepare them correctly.